it's interesting that uh, when you look at the uh, the laws that are enacted, um, the legislative laws like the Vital Statistics Act that occurs in the different provinces and states throughout uh, the world, uh, they clearly actually will give you what the what the gist is of what they're saying. You just have to read it maybe a few times. So, you know, just take the time. I think that my concern for the audience that I'm talking to uh, that is new uh, to watching the videos or the research that's gone on over the years is that they're, um, they're kind of jumping in the middle, which is to be understood. It's kind of like drowning in a river. You've never learned how to swim. And so to get thrown into ice cold water for the first time makes it even more difficult. So uh, I consider that the legal system is like really ice cold water and being thrown into it. So certainly I want you to understand that my empathy is there when you're getting started on this. It can seem overwhelming. And uh, I'll try to do my best through the videos, which is a lot easier than me responding to individual emails, um, though I will take them. But uh, it is uh, it is going to take some time for you to absorb. So uh, don't get frustrated. Uh, don't get upset. Uh, just take the time. Be like the early Berean Christians who actually research daily to make sure that what they were being taught was true. And so we're doing our utmost through these videos to do proper research. Now we're going to look at the uh, Quebec Civil Code uh, dealing with birth registration and it starts off every person exercises his civil rights. Now we're going to go civil. We know that means pagan. These are not theo these are not basically theocracy nations we're dealing with under God. Uh, we're dealing with uh, pretty close to demonocracy as you can get. And so it says every person exercises his civil pagan rights under the name assigned. We know it would have to be a pagan name. Some of you refer to it as a gentle idiot's name or surname in his act of birth. So he, they're talking about a legal person there. They're saying every person, we might as well say it's legal because that's how their system operates. So they're saying every legal person exer exercises his civil or pagan rights under the name, okay, basically in his act of birth, but they're really saying the name that's assigned or implied to be in, assigned in the act of birth. So you've taken on an assignment. And so when you request to get a birth certificate or to be known by that name, you're now exercising activity and a supposed right in that sandbox of legal. So you can understand that they are going to hold you liable when you do that because you're now acting as a member in their realm and therefore you have duties, debts, and responsibilities that go with that. So what comes out of your mouth can certainly damn you. These are a damnations of Adam, sin. They're not there under the grace of God as the sovereignty of Jesus Christ is. So we have to not mix our minds up when we're participating in legal and then expecting that somehow we have spiritual protection in there. Um, we're going to deal with the word uh, proper and common in the next video. So please take notes.